Hi guys, my name is Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Fenty Icon lipstick that just came out. So if you want to see that, then keep watching. But first, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to me. Um, you guys helped me reach 500 subscribers and I'm really excited about that. I just want to thank everyone who is supporting me. And if you're new to my channel and you would like to support, please like and subscribe. And when the video is over, comment down below and let me know what you thought about the lipsticks, which ones you want to get, or if you're going to pass on this whole collection. And with that being said, let's just hop right into the video. So I want to read a little bit about the lipstick. It says it's a creamy semi-matte lipstick in a range of high pigment reds and neutrals for all skin tones that's made to be refillable. Um, so you need to choose your shade and then you need to also get the case. So <laughs> it seems like a little weird that they're doing that and they said suggested usage. Um, so you're gonna get the lipstick with a little plastic top and then you need to connect, <laughs> you need to connect the case to the base of the bullet. So it sounds a little complicated but um, I kind of think I got it so let me show you guys the case so that's the case and this is a little bullet so you need to basically attach the lipstick to the end of the bullet so this is um, a color that I want to try basically push okay yeah push and I like twisted ah! okay <gasps> Okay, I think they said, oh, I think they said, don't push. Wait a minute, did I push? Okay, you're not supposed to push on the cap. No. Make sure the bullet lipstick's all the way twisted down. Well, it wasn't, and this is what happened. <laughs> Wait, can you see? I crushed it. I crushed it. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I crushed it. Not, it's not a big deal. Obviously, I can like just wipe it and just like apply it. Um, but like, okay, so learn from my mistakes. I think I just pushed here too too hard when I was trying to attach it to the base. Oh, I think you're supposed to make sure it's, oh, I think they said to make sure you twist it down. So if I had twisted it, I don't know. I'm gonna try again and let's see if I can get it right that time. But anyway, so basically this is how it looks once you attach it to the base and then you can just put the cover on top and it clicks. And let's see, how do I take it out? To twist that part? No. What the hell? Okay, it's not the easiest, hold on. So I, I pushed it, it's all the way down. I pushed it in, right? And then it clicked, so it's in. But in order to get it back out, I have to twist it again. And like when I try to pull, it's not letting me just pull out. So I have to like twist the lipstick until it comes out. I don't really like this, to be honest. I feel like this, this is, it looks cool, but I feel like it's a little like extra. I don't like that because I feel like I'm just gonna keep ruining the lipstick because I'm not used to the mechanisms of this. But anyway, I'm gonna get into swatching the lipsticks because I feel like that was like a roller coaster for me. I'm gonna swatch it once just on my lips. I'm gonna wipe it off and then do it with a lip liner and then probably show you guys with a gloss. So I wanna start with the lighter colors because I don't want my lips to be stained by any other lipsticks that might have like a deeper pigmentation. So I'm gonna start with Mother Lover. I think this is the lightest color in the collection. I'm gonna start with this. It's a very, very light color. This is definitely a color that I would mix with other colors and I would absolutely need a lip liner. So now that I have the color on, let me just put on the lip liner and show you guys how it looks with a lip liner. This is um, this lip liner is the KKW lip liner in the shade Nude 3. This is normally how I would wear my lipstick, so it looks way better. Like. It's still not really my shade, but it looks way better with the lip liner. And I'm so sorry that I don't have a completely clear gloss. I have this Nika K gloss from the beauty supply store, and this is kind of the gloss I put on top of all my lip glosses. It's red tinted, but it really doesn't have any real color. So if I just wanna see how it looks with a gloss, and let's do that. Okay, oh my gosh. I think I like this with the with the gloss. It's kind of hitting. I really love gloss. Um, I love lip products in general. I feel like that's when the makeup look all comes together. So I'm always excited to do like my lips. Like the base is cool and all that, but when it's time to do the lips, I'm like, okay, now I look like something. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I like how this looks. Like this is like a good nude combination. Okay, mother lover. Yes, mother lover. I like this. Okay. So this is how it looks with a gloss. 
The next color I'm gonna try, it's called Pose Queen. So this is Pose Queen and it's kind of like um, another nudie type of light shade. So let me just put it on. It's like soft, these lipsticks. Um, I don't, I think it was described as a soft matte. I would say that it is. This is another color that looks like really ashy on my skin complexion. Might be another banger with the, the lip liner. So let me add some lip liner. Okay, so this is how it looks with lip liner. Looks a lot better. I feel like this chocolate brown lip liner makes everything look good. I'm also gonna put the gloss on top of this. This is actually really cute with the lip gloss as well, but I don't really see a, that much of a difference between um, Mother Lover and Pose Queen. They're very similar in color, but I think Mother Lover is more pink. So I'd probably go with Mother Lover. The next color I'm gonna try is called Scala Sista. This is like a brownie type of pink. I'm probably gonna really like this. It looks, it looks nice, like even without the lip liner, it doesn't look too crazy. This kind of reminds me of a color that I would have worn like in my 20s. Because you know everybody was obsessed with like Nicki Minaj and pink. This is like the type of, like one of the types of pinks I probably would have worn back then. I like it though. It doesn't look too crazy without the lip liner, but I'm gonna add some anyway. Scala Babe with the lip liner and I'm also gonna add some gloss. This is so pretty with the gloss. I really like these like nude pinkish colors. This is like up, definitely up my alley. I could do some really nice combos with these colors. Okay, now I feel like I'm getting more into the brownie nudes. This color I'm gonna try is called Ballin' Babe. Okay, this color's all right. I don't think I love Ballin' Babe that much. It's okay. I don't know, something about like the undertone maybe. I'm gonna add like a lip liner to it. It actually looks really pretty with liner. I feel like that's a trend. Every color kind of looks better with liner. This is more like subtle. So this is Ball and Babe with some gloss. It looks like, like a color that goes well with my skin complexion. So Ball and Babe is cute too. I didn't like it on its own really as a lipstick though. Um, but with gloss on top, I like it. Okay, so the next color that I'm trying is called Major Magnet. So this is a, like another brownie nude color. This is more of the truer nudes that I've tried on in terms of like brownish tan lipsticks. It's kind of plain. You know, I kind of like my lips to pop a little bit more. I'm gonna add the lip liner. So this is Major Magnet with the lip liner. It's actually a pretty nude, I think. But some of these colors I feel like kind of look like you can get a similar look with multiple shades. So I, I, I don't know if I would need the shade because it looks like one of the other shades and on its own, I probably wouldn't wear it. I probably would just wear it with the lip liner. So this is with gloss. So this is how it looks with gloss and the lip liner. It's a pretty color, but I'm honestly not drawn to it um, without like gloss. And I feel like I like some other colors better in here. Okay, so now I'm getting into the deeper colors. Um, the first one I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna leave the reds for last because they tend to stain the most. So I think the first one I'm gonna try is Flaunty Auntie. Okay, so it's like a brownish red, like a really deep, like burgundy-ish red. Okay. This is like a really deep vampy type of maroon brown red. I think this color is pretty. I don't even know if this one really needs a lip liner. It really doesn't. But I'm just gonna put some anyway. It's not necessarily a color that I go for very often. I usually try to stay to like nudie, pinky brown, peachy, corally colors. I'm kind of upset there's no coral in here. I would have loved a like little peachy-ish coral moment. But anyway, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna put some gloss to this one as well. Touch, 
Hmm. It's kind of pretty with some gloss too. It's not my favorite color though, but this is how it looks with the gloss and some lip liner. This is Flaunty Auntie. So the next color I'm gonna try is also like a brownie color, like a brownie nude color. This one's called Board Member. Oh, it looks brown. Well, to me it looked brown, but it's not brown. It's like a red. I did not expect that. <laughs> This is board member. I don't know if it makes sense to add a lip liner to this color um, because I don't. I have a brown one. I don't really have one that goes with this color. It's okay. This is not the type of color I would go for. Um, but this is what it looks like. I guess I will put some lip liner on just for continuity, you know? I feel like I stray away from colors like this because I don't want to look super mature. Um, but I'm gonna add some gloss and maybe it'll give more of a sexy vibe. Ooh, I got a little more vampy looking. This is interesting. I really don't wear colors like this too often, especially with the gloss. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I would run to get this color. It's a little daring. I could probably see this looking good with like a slick back ponytail or something like that. I'm gonna do Grill Master. It's a orangey brown, which I feel like I'm anticipating not liking this color. <laughs> I wanna give it a shot, but I just feel like I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I don't like these kind of colors. Not that I don't even like orange, I just don't like brownie oranges. I feel like they don't look good on my complexion. Hopefully it looks a little bit better with some liner. Okay, I guess it looks a little better with some lip liner, but it's honestly not my favorite color. But I have to do what I did for the other colors. Put some gloss on this one and see how it looks. I mean, I don't hate it, but I really don't like it. <laughs> I don't hate it, hate it. But I don't like it. I feel like it doesn't look that good on me. And last but not least is the MVP. So this is the MVP, and honestly, I don't like this red on my complexion. My favorite red for reference is, um, my favorite red for reference is Ruby Woo by MAC, that matte one, that one looks so good on me. This one, I'm not really feeling it that much. It doesn't really complement my skin tone. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a blue-based red or what, but I'm not really feeling it that much. Let me see if I can... Yeah, a blue-red. That's what it says on the website. It's a blue-red. Oh wow, it had descriptions. That would have been helpful. I could have just like read that. But yeah, I'm gonna add some liner like I did for the others and then I'm gonna add some gloss. I feel like the liner toned it down a little bit and it looks a little bit more wearable for me, but it's still not my favorite red. I'm gonna add some gloss. Okay, with some gloss, it doesn't look terrible. I guess I just am not the most red girl, and if I'm gonna do red, it's probably gonna be Ruby Woo from MAC. But this is how it looks with the gloss and the liner. Unfortunately, this is the last color that I have. I have nine colors. Um, there was one that they didn't have in store, and it was actually the one that I was very much excited to get. So that was, she's a CEO and it's a chocolate nude. I love chocolate lipsticks and stuff like that, so I felt like that would have been perfect for me, but unfortunately they were out of stock. I guess they're going fast in store, so if you do want a color, I would say like hop on that right away. Okay guys, I'm back and I put on my favorite color. So my favorite color is actually the one that I smushed. So it's the first one and that one is called Mother Lover. That's my favorite because I feel like it just makes such a combo, nice combo with the lip gloss. And I know this is lipstick review, but I layer a lot of my lipsticks and I make a lot of combos and I buy lipsticks in mind with pairing them with glosses because I am very much a gloss girl, but I can do a matte every now and then. I think this color looks really good with the lip liner and especially with the gloss on top. So I really like this color. It's my favorite. Most of my favorites are um, the lighter, pinkier ones, ones that I can do brown nude combo with. So I really like Mother Lover and Pose Queen, although they are very similar. So I feel like if I had to choose between the two, I probably would just get Mother Lover. And I also really liked Scala Sista. I think that was a pretty color. And Ball and Babe. This one is Mother Lover. 
then Pose Queen. Scala Sista as well. They're very similar. Like I would say that these are my three favorites. Favorites are Mother Lover, Pose Queen, and Scala Sista. Where's Ballin' Babe? Hold on. So the last one right here is Ballin' Babe, and I like that one as well. So those are my favorites. So basically, any of the pinky nude ones are my favorites and the other ones just kind of fall a little flat for me. I wanted to show you guys, like I was, I was trying to switch out the lipsticks and I took off this piece. I was just trying to twist it and this piece just won't come out. I watched a fellow YouTuber's video just now because I was actually struggling trying to twist the base out of it so much. And um, I, I watched um, Omahe's video about how to assemble it because I realized that I didn't really watch any videos before I did mine. And honestly, I just, I really just feel like I just broke this. Okay, I just put it back on, but like, what in the world, <laughs> what in the world? Like, I don't like this function at all, at all. No, I feel like I'm, I feel like I damn near broke this lipstick almost. And I really don't know how to get it out. Like, I'm twisting it like um, she said, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to take more time. I don't know if I twisted the wrong way, but it's just not really coming out. I don't like this at all. I mean, of course, if it's better for the environment, I get it, but I really don't like that function. I wish I could leave a more complete video for you guys because I don't know how to get it off. But this just goes to show you like this part is finicky, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys had issues with it as well. I would just, you know, do as much research as you can and watch a lot of different YouTubers' videos to make sure you know how to use this part. I was throwing it in my bag. I would like to use the nice case that it comes with. You can always store it like this with the clear cap that it comes with. It's like kind of convenient, but honestly, if it comes with a case, I would like to use like a case that it came with that I bought for it. And if it's that hard to switch in and switch out, I'm like really not feeling that. But anyway, if you guys like this review, I hope it was helpful. Please let me know what your favorite colors were down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.